She told us he's very critical. He's got a long ways to go. Our son might not make it through the night. Tate was injured back in August 30th of 2017 from a lawnmower accident. It was very severe, life-threatening, and he needed care that our local hospital could not provide. He had to come down here to not one only help save his life, but to rebuild it and make him be able to be mobile again. His intestine was cut, so that was the first step, and then it was onto his legs, which they were able to save. So he went through a 13-hour surgery where they took part of his back muscle, his lap muscle, out and take that muscle to put it in his lower right leg. But that surgery went well, and then you hope for that muscle flap to live. We got the news about five days later that it did not live. So they decided to take the second muscle flap from his right thigh. That surgery went very well and that one lived. He had very bad uh, vascular damage. So with a second muscle flap, he wanted to transfer some veins from his left leg to his right leg to help the blood flow and help it survive. And it worked, it was unbelievable. He's been through 30 plus surgeries. Obstacles a child should never have to go through. To us, it's kind of a miracle. We had to rely a lot on our faith. Many, many prayers in the community, I think, just we were able to get through tough times. The level of care Tate's had here with these doctors has been a blessing. They explained things in a way that we could understand, and we tried to be really involved in his care. They allowed us to do a lot of the changings. They had their hands with our hands. Allowing us to be part of that was definitely a huge, huge positive in Tate's recovery. Tate is now a very active little boy. I like playing baseball and football and basketball. Going to the river and playing in the sand and playing in the water. It's quite amazing as a mom, just so grateful and blessed that Tate's still even with us today and not having to be in a wheelchair. To see him out playing and doing activities that kids his age should be doing is just a blessing and relief to be where he's at. My hopes and dreams for Tate is that he can continue to keep being active and stay happy in life and enjoy each day. I pray that he can keep showing others that they can overcome much more than they think. We've now started a foundation called Tate's Army just to promote awareness and lot more safety. We don't want other families to feel this type of pain and tell other families and kids how amazing this hospital has been for us. He's been so positive through all of this. He doesn't complain. To have him be that positive helps me be more positive through all of this. We're so blessed and, and grateful that we've had great doctors, nurses, and hospital staff that all we can say is thank you for saving his life. We just can't be thankful enough for what this hospital has done to not only our son Tate, but to our whole family. We love you for everything you've done. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of our hearts.